two giants going at it here. The seven foot chief, Austin Towers, going up against the wall. Yeah, two big men about to battle it out here in the Landmark Arena. And you can hear the Landmark faithful here, clearly behind the chief here himself, Austin Towers. And the wall, he's been causing some problems here lately, along with his uh, his buddy, Gizar. But now I say for once, I think he may be in a challenge that even the wall may not be able to withstand here. Because you're looking at a man here who just less, less than a month ago was challenging for the Anarchy Heavyweight Championship and has been one of the biggest threats to the Landmark Arena since Jeter himself came in. And now these two monsters are about to do battle here in the ring. You can take a look there. In the eyes of Austin Towers, we can see those from our vantage point. But you can see right there, two big men. And I'm going to tell you something. You know, the wall is no small man, but next to the chief, I mean, you can definitely see that he does what he says he does. He does tower overall, speaking of Austin Towers. Yeah, Austin Towers standing at almost seven feet, one inches. The wall just right at six foot 11. So a couple inches advantage that Towers has over the wall. But in a power battle, both of these men very equal in this matchup here. And you can just see the stare down. Those two men, the impressive size of Austin Towers and the wall. Now wall challenging Towers to a test of strength here, trying to go up to another level. And right Towers, there. <laughs> Towers clearly saying, hey, you're not on my level yet, kid. We gotta work this one out. Yeah, Towers definitely having the reach advantage there, those longer arms than the wall. And right now, test of strength. Greco-Roman knuckle lock, center of the ring. And both men trying to keep a good base there. Very equal. Tower maybe with a slight advantage, hard to say. But both men equal at this point. Tower. Oh, Wall felt like he was getting ready to lose that test of straight there and try to take out Tower. But it, clearly, it's going to take more than that. Both men, neither one wanting to go down. Shoulder to shoulder. And the wall still, I mean, just, I don't know if this is the guy that I would want to trash talk. Yeah, clearly in this case, but he hits the wall, but the wall does not come down. Nowhere near it just yet, but Austin Towers maybe showing he's got a little more fight than the wall, and the wall maybe having to rethink his game plan here a little bit. Uh, and you don't want to pie face <laughs> someone like Austin Towers. Uh, yeah, but that is not the best career decision for yourself for a young wrestler like the wall. And now he wants he wants to go in this battle like Austin is ready for a fight on this one. He's like, you want to chop? Let, let me show you how it's supposed to be done. We might be breaking the wall down here in just a second. Those massive hands get a hold of the chest of the wall. Someone get Mr. Gorbachev on the phone. This wall may be coming down in a minute. Oh! oh. oh. Gunshots rang out in the arena off of that one. Oh, you can already see the mark forming on Wall's chest. Oh. My goodness. Oh, there's, oh, the crowd's saying one more time. Oh. Here we go. Oh, and Wall wisely, not wanting to take that second chop, goes with a thumb to the eye. Illegal as it may be, it may have saved him in this match from taking another massive chop from Towers. But now, as he fights him back, here comes Towers. Body, big body blows those, those left and right hands right there. Yeah, that would have been another brick in the wall there. But now the Wall just taking it right too. Austin Towers. So it makes you question which one's going to fall first, the tower or the wall? We'll find out here shortly. Right now, wall in control, but towers not having any of it. Now going to more of a little of a brawling style here. A big right hands to the face. 
And now challenging the wall just to punch him. This went from a wrestling match. This is just straight up a brawl now, JJ. Yeah, when you got two big guys like this, you're not going to see a lot of wrestling. You're going to see a lot of this. You're going to see a lot of fighting. And that's what we're seeing right now from these two behemoths. And they're going at it. It's like, I feel for referee Darrell Hall who's got to try to control these two big men here in this ring. Because this, this can break down at any time if it hasn't already. Oh. Oh! Oh, did you? Oh! Oh, I felt the disrespect off that one, JJ. Yeah, that was some <laughs> disrespect right there. Oh, wait a minute, missed the clothesline. Oh, is he trying to pick Tower up? He may be even too big for the wall to hold on to. Yeah, it looked like the wall was trying to get Austin Towers up, and that fireman's carry was unable to. But a that headbutt's effective. Yes. It is. He's got Towers off his feet. Can't do anything with him as he wiggles out. Here comes Tower picking up Wall now with ease on his back. The pure strength of Tower Vab. But now the Wall with the hands to the eyes again, finding a way to get himself out of this matchup. Yeah, that eye rake has been very effective for the Wall. And a boot right there. And finally puts Towers down to the back to the map for the first time in this matchup here. And now the wall feels like he can trash talk as he finally goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Only a two count there. Wall maybe taking away too much time there with the trash talking, finally thinking he finally won over Tower, but it's going to take more than that to take down a man his size. And now the wall sizing up. Austin Towers comes in. Oh, misses the boot. Towers up, has him up again, trying to set him out. Big spin out flapjack there. And I mean, you're coming from seven feet in the air, landing right down on your face. And now, Austin Towers sizing him up. Oh, wait, oh, wait just a minute. Oh, the sh a shot from behind as Yazar, his buddy, comes in and helps his buddy wall out in this one and gives him the disqualification. Yeah, I mean, that's. That's a, that's a shame to see. These two men were actually having a good match, I thought. You different tactics, but now. There comes the other part of the left-hand path. Silva comes out. Eric Silva making the save on this one. Partners together in the left-hand path. These two men, many matches here, I feel like I feel like there's a major match coming down for the all four of these the men of the real match. soon. As a result of the disqualification, Austin Towers. The seven foot chief, Austin Towers, gets the victory, albeit by disqualification. Definitely want to have a little more in that one, but still standing tall in the center of the ring.